Smith joins us and uh, to talk about Winter Stick and to talk about West Mountain Ski Company and also to uh, get enthusiastic, get us all stoked uh, for the bank slalom today. Yeah. Welcome. How are you, yeah, my friend? Yeah, nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. And you've brought some wonderful things to share with us, including some swag that you can buy down at the outlet. Yep, yep, exactly. So, you know, uh, we're still surprised that when we ride the chairlift and there are people who are like, whoa, what's that ski? What's that snowboard? Like, they do oh, that? Yeah, we built, we're right down at the bottom of the, of the West Mountain chairlift. Yep. Five, five years now. Yeah. And they're like, you are? <laughs> so, yeah, so spreading the word. You guys yeah. come, come out, get out and, uh, and come down to see us down at the factory. And we you do, do have tours there until three o'clock we right? do yep tours almost every day so today we're not we're the, all the guys are, are, are riding in the bank salon and that. um seth's home so yes. seth, seth westcott came home he did the hall of fame he was inducted in the, in the uh, u.s ski and snowboard hall of fame why wouldn't he be last weekend amazing yeah um and uh then he came here and he's basically built the the, the track this week so if you uh see yep. seth out there say hello so, tell him welcome home He'll be racing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He, and he's been chomping at the chomping at the bit to get into a race. Like, <laughs> the bank slalom, the, the Baker Bank Slalom, which is like the most famous bank slalom. Right. Uh, it's over thirty years old. This race has been going on out at Baker. It's been canceled the last th two years um, because of COVID. Yeah. And Seth has won it two years in a row. Then now two two years out. So. You know he's he's got to he's got to try and win again, right? And uh, they and keep Ross Powers it, has so. come out here from the Baker, uh, yeah. and he's won as well. Yeah, absolutely. No, we get we th this this race draws some some pretty good riders. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. In fact, yeah, yeah. So, but I, I know Seth's probably going to try and win. Of course he is. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> why wouldn't you? And uh, he'll be riding uh, a winter stick. Yeah, he will. So um, Seth actually built uh, his own. He has his own pro model, Westcott. Pro, um, and then we also have a bank slalom specific ah. snowboard that Seth designed and won the Baker Bank twice on. Um, we've got a race base on it, and a couple more bells and whistles than the regular well, uh, Westcott Pro model. Mm -hmm. And the thing that we do differently than anyone else is we'll actually design a board for you, so your your size foot. You know, so we might make it a little bit wider, or a oh, little really? bit narrower, depending on what your, your foot size is. So Seth has developed this really fast board for Bank Slalom. If you really want to win, you got to get on a winter stick. That's customization right there. It is. It's right to your foot, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the important thing. So most, most board companies, like Burton, for instance, builds most of their boards based on a nine and a half foot, right? And so, like Seth, he used to cram his foot into a 10 in order to not have toe and heel drag. Mm. Um, and so um, we're one of the few companies out there that will actually build a custom custom yeah. width. There's no hanging 10 with a snowboard. No, no, no. <laughs> and this little guy here, so um, you're, you're going to start seeing, and it's really nice to see it show all these sugar loafers out riding winter sick. Um, and uh, so this is the Ute Swally. So today is a uh, is going to be a nice powder day. We'll get it up there for everyone to see. Beautiful. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. That's the Ute, beautiful. Ute Swallowtail. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, it's gonna start hammering a little bit. Like just hours from now, we're gonna we're gonna have you know four or five inches. So um, tomorrow morning, come down and grab a powder board and go out and you got some go demo. out and get some. You and go these, for a rip. we don't just see them here in the mountain. We see them on outside television uh, footage as well nationally. They're yeah. very popular. Yep, yep, yeah. exactly. So um, and then speaking of bank slalom. Um, we um, just had the, the, the Paralympics happen in Beijing, where we had four or five competitors out there on, uh, on snow. Noah Elliott um, is uh, one of our sponsored athletes, and he, uh, he's just a great, great guy. If you get on, uh, get on the Instagram feed, um, oh, there's Noah there. Yeah, so he's, uh, he's an amazing athlete. He's gone through some real struggles, lost his leg to cancer, or actually an, an, a, a cancer. Um, he was a pro snowboarder, a uh, pro skater, and now is one of our athletes. And the, the guy is amazing. He's, tear a, it up. he's a great spokesperson. We actually we, we tagged like, we tagged him um, the uh, r uh, hippie robot because <laughs> you know, he's got you know he he rides a Triumph you know and um, he's got the long hair and the cool mustache. Nothing wrong and, with uh, a Triumph. And then he's got this awesome you know prosthetic leg that he looks like you know he looks like the Terminator. <laughs> so yeah, he's the hippie robot. 
So, yeah. Um, anyway, so bank slalom happens all over the world and actually is an Olympic event in the Paralympics. Exactly, yep. right. And, and he did pretty well. Uh, he, he did. didn't win, but he did pretty no, well. No, so he, he, he just won the, he won the world championships and then unfortunately had a problem with his prosthetic. Mm -hmm. He had a little bit of a raw, raw material there. Um, so he had to stop racing and then came into the Olympics a little cold, hmm. missed the medals by one second. He got, uh, he got fourth. So oh, big oh. shot right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good dude. Well, that that is uh, the part of the winter stick story, and uh, you've got some great racers out there. They'll be uh, all your employees will be out there today, right? All uh, everybody is yeah. going going out, yeah. and actually, I almost was going to come out of retirement today and go and drop almost, down. almost, yeah, almost <laughs> closed registration closed. Well, you know, oh, I couldn't it. get in. They'll always be next year, right? <laughs> and uh, let's talk about this fine piece right yeah, here. Yeah. So, um, so in addition to Winter Stick, which is really, you know, the the driver of our of our company, you know, we do build West Mountain Ski Company down there as well. This is the Stone One Ten underfoot. Um, it's a really really good fun powder ski. It's One Ten underfoot. Um, there's a lot of float up here in the tip. We've got a lot of lot of uh, early, early rise or rocker mm -hmm. in the tip and in the tail, mm -hmm. camber underfoot, so it'll still carve when you're not on the powder. It's a great fun ski, and uh, we've got several pairs of these down at the factory too that people can come down and, and demo. Um, Let's hope we need some powder skis for tomorrow. Oh huh? yeah, yeah, and we have skinning equipment. You do. So if the breeze is blowing tomorrow, yeah, and you're finding the lifts aren't spinning. <laughs> We can hook you up with a skin setup, both for the skis and snowboards. Oh, that's great to yeah. know. That's yeah, so great we're, to know. We really want to start pushing um, our little factory down there as a great place to uh, base your backcountry adventure out of. Right. Um, you know, we're right on the hill. We've got all the equipment for people, mm -hmm. uh, including things that you can buy from skins to packs to poles, um, both for snowboard and ski. Oh, that's um, good to know. So, yeah, so it's a great place that you can come down and if you've never even tried to skin, or you, and you'd like to have one of our employees take you out and, and have fun, we can actually schedule a little appointment and you can kind of get your own little uh, first, uh, first opportunity to get, get on some pair more of skins. More and more people skin out, more and more we're seeing it. Yeah. And the great thing about the West Mountain area is at the top of your skin track happens to be a bar and a restaurant. <laughs> it's very hard to get by it. It's hard to get by it, Andy says. <laughs> it, it, it is, it is. It, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a watering hole. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. that is just an absolutely magnificent looking ski. Yeah, thank it? you very much. This is a walnut top sheet, uh, maple sidewalls, all of our cores and the skis and snowboards we build right in the factory down, down, at, the, down at the West Mountain chairlift. So again, come in, um, get your demo. Um, we've got some really fun uh, soft goods and sort of tech jackets for the Winter Stick Company, and uh, it's a really cool experience, so. You've expanded we, your offerings. We have, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. We, we have. It's no, no longer just cheap t-shirts, uh, you know, we've actually got some really nice right, nice gear in there. Yeah. Um, so come on in and check out the website too. Always, yeah. It's all available on the website as well. Well, stop by and get a tour and you'll be amazed. Uh, they're built right here and you can get, try them out with some demos as well. Beautiful looking ski with nice continuous edge all the way around. That's right, yeah. All of the boards and, and snowboards all have continuing edge and I, and, I, and I challenge people to try and find where the seam is. Our it's guys not are, easy. Our guys are really, really good. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Tom, yeah. thank you so much for being here. We yeah, appreciate thanks. it so much and hope everyone will go down there and take the opportunity to uh, try out some of the great uh, offerings that you have maybe even schedule a tour with one of the staff Thanks, yeah that'd Tom. be great all right there you have it winter stick and west mountain skis uh representing today